Who is your boy Sam coming at you with another hot review? And today I have for you the Piccolo Superhero. And in this amazing video, we're gonna be going over the features and the articulation of the figure, as well as the accessories and a couple of uh comparison with other figures. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the box. It's your standard um SH uh figure box put out by Bandai. Has a cool illustration of Piccolo out on the front, grinning. Um, I I love the um the illustrations that they put on here and the little uh um different poses and and different expressions to the uh to the figure. As well as in the back, you have the uh the figure. Then once again, you get more poses and expressions along with it. Some Japanese writing, if you guys know. Go ahead and read that. You can go ahead and pause it. I have no idea what to say. So if you do, put it in the comments. Let me know. Uh, that's about it for the box. So let's go ahead and get him out of the box and he and see how he looks like. Okay, guys, taking uh, a look at Piccolo outside the box. Do keep in mind, he does come with an extra uh, plastic uh, lid to keep everything in place. So we put that off to the side. Looking at um the figure, he does come with two um extra expression uh on the head, one um hand doing his power move, one open hand, and one kind of mid close hand making it look like he's able to grab something. So let's go ahead and look at him first. Let's get him out and let's put this aside and we'll go over him first and then we'll swap out do certain things with him uh right off the bat guys i advise the first thing that caught my eye was this right here his antennas when i got him out of the back the, the box it's fragile it's very fragile so when you're swapping out the heads uh i advise for you to grab it from like this or here and be and pull this way be very careful um, I'll show you guys how um, how to do it without breaking these. I've seen um, these broken in the past, and they're very hard to fix. Once it's done, that's it. My biggest complaint is that these should have been rubber, not hard plastic, because then there's not a whole lot you can do once it breaks. So that's that. Uh, as far as design goes, it's it's very well nice. I, I, I love it. Um, it looks just like it did in the movie. So it's there's no there's really no complaints about the design wise on how it looks. Now, do keep in mind that you see, and it can get caught at times. And then you gotta be pushing it back and adjusting it from time to time. See how that opens up again? So it makes it look weird because it's attached right there. If you guys can see that little hinge right there, it's attached to this. And and when you put the arm up, it can get caught. So please be careful with that. But also keep in mind, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, also keep in mind, these are not toys to play with. They're more just like sit on your shelf, show off, you know, pose, whatever. You know, stuff like that because they're collectibles. But even so... Um, you don't want to break anything in the process because the way it's looking, this thing is, it's delicate and hard if something breaks to put it back. So, but if you guys know how to fix it, well then that's good. I don't. <laughs> so, um, let's go ahead and talk about articulation. You already know the, the, the SH, um, figures are very articulated and very poseable. Like you can see. So that's good. Um, you you want to have a lot of variation and very uh, good articulation, so that way your poses will come out very good. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've been sick for a while. Um, overall, it's 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 very nice. I like how they did this uh, this piccolo. Color wise, eh, it's good. I like it. You know, it's a, it's different. Then the uh the blue belt, I like the red better. Uh I can uh next to the uh, the purple. So that's good. 
Uh, I saw on some of the reviews when they first announced it as to why his his head or his neck is different color. Not really. It may look like that on camera, guys, but when it's in your hand, not really. You you don't even notice it, so it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. I'm more concerned for these than the color in of itself, so don't worry about it. You'll be good. Um, Let's go ahead and swap out some hands. Do some poses here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's do the power finger first. Let's see. This one? No. Yeah, it's his right hand. Sorry. So when you want to do this, straight. Pull it this way. Don't try to pull off to the side because it can break too. There you go. If you have to heat it up, heat it up. Like I always tell you guys, heat up your characters. It makes it so much easier. And when you're when you're um, popping a hand uh, in slightly, don't try to force it or jam it. If it does not go in, don't do it. There you go. See, take your time with it. It'll be okay. See, and this is this is <sighs> this thing bugs me right here. Gives me the feeling it's going to break. All right. So we're good. We're good. Uh, let's swap out this hand. Let's get one of these right here. See these little opening hands? Looks very interesting. Make it look like he's getting ready to fire. Oh, there we go. Put this here. There we go. And, uh, yeah, let me get this one. See, and even taking them out of the, out of, out of the bag, out of the, um, out of here, you got to get them by, by the antenna because there's no way to get the face out. So be very, very careful. See, this is what I'm talking about. You can just grab them by the ears like so, like that. There you go. It comes out smoothly, so that's that's a plus. At least that's good. It's not one of those hard... You have to pull on it really hard. And then to put one back on, there you go. That's it. See? Easy as that. <clears throat> and then we can go ahead and pose them however you want. You know, go like that. Here and there. You know. It's a very cool, interesting um, uh, figure of Piccolo, you know. There's really not a whole lot about things I can say. I, I love the SH uh, figures. The only thing is, good luck finding them. <laughs> That's the only thing. Um, depending on where you go, prices vary. So, <clears throat> $60 I paid for it. I say it's not bad. So it's it's okay. Normally, like at uh, Target, you'll find them for like thirty five, thirty six dollars, if you can find it. Uh, I found mine for sixty online, so that's good. Um, I wish it did came with the arms, so he can fold them like the other version, but this one doesn't. He really doesn't come with uh, his cape and stuff like that. Go ahead and put this face on there. Look at that, guys. Isn't that amazing? It's a beautiful head sculpt. Then we can go ahead and swap out another hand. Let's go ahead. Take that hand out. Let's do this one right here. His open hands. You guys can see how that looks. There we go. Now we got him with his open hand. And eh, let's do the other one open hand too. Just for kicks. And remember, guys, if you're getting value out of this video, you're having fun, go ahead and hit that like button and um, bell notification so that way you'll be notified when I upload one of these and also to help out the channel. 
I will gladly appreciate that. There we go. There we go. So now we have Piccolo with two open hands. Ready to blast. Ready to rock. There we go. Mm-hmm. We can go like this. Da -da -da -da. See if I can get him to stand up. There you go. There we go. Here is a height comparison between Goku and Piccolo, so it gives you an idea of how tall or how big uh, Piccolo is. And here's a comparison of how tall uh, Piccolo really is next to Krillin. Okay, guys, that's it for this review. If you found value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and bell notification so that way you'll be notified every time I upload a video just like this. And until next time, guys.